Hi guys, and welcome to your November 2019. This is going to be the Divine Energy Oracle message for the beautiful sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, Venus, and Mars here. Hello, hello. I hope that this November finds you guys well and in good spirits. We are starting out the month in Mercury retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. So, Please look out for the next couple, over the next couple of days preceding this particular message where you're going to get a video on channel two explaining what your focus is going to be in Mercury and retrograde for each one of your signs in the sign of Scorpio, that is, because, you know, each energy brings a new set of focuses, although, um, you know, Mercury retrograde overall has a meaning but when it goes into each zodiac sign our focuses shift a little bit but we will talk all about that in that video so i just wanted to let you know and taurus let's go ahead and get started with your message now you are crossing with a gemini for may of 2019 and a capricorn for august of 2019 what energies crossed your paths with a gemini in 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 may and what energies crossed you with a Taurus? Let's talk about what's the differences. So as being fixed earth in Taurus, if you're crossing with, and you know, Mercury is Gemini's ruler. So think about that. So if you're crossing with Gemini, which is mutable air, and you're also crossing with Capricorn, which think about that, you are an earth sign and Capricorn is cardinal air, Think about those themes in that time. Do these particular crosses represent a person? Do you have this in your chart? Or are you being guided to kind of tap into that particular mode and think outside of the box a little bit more? Let's get started. You're being guided to choose friends wisely. Choose friends wisely, Taurus. Now, only you know how that pertains to you. Let me know. Um, and if you know, if you obviously know that if you are crossing, I'm going to invite you to go back and watch those videos. Um, and I'm only, only going to read for you the divine invitation, which is going to get you one step closer to, um, achieving your divine, um, uh, your divine, getting you one step closer to your divine energy. Jesus, I can't talk today. So Taurus, your divine invitation is to give time and energy to those who display an open heart and conscious awareness that mirrors your own commitment to growth. Jesus, yes. Now that, if that isn't a mouthful, Taurus, I don't know. I told you. Taurus, um, Venus and Mars here. And let me tell you something about um, having that uh, fixed energy in a fixed house. So I have fixed earth, okay, in a fixed water house. Okay, so that's the eighth house. Think about that. You know, you guys... This speaks to my heart dearly because when you start to put boundaries on things around your life and put these boundaries up, people will constantly overstep those boundaries and get mad at you because they don't understand what you're trying to accomplish. And that's not something that you have to apologize for. Again, give time and energy, Taurus, to those who display an open heart and conscious awareness that mirrors your commitment to growth. If you're changing and you're on your spiritual path and you're co you're constantly being um uh, you're constantly growing, okay? You're constantly getting to a point on your spiritual path where you have to elevate yourself. And as you continue to go higher and higher, you look down and you're like, "Oh, those people down there are clawing to knock you off your path." to get your attention, to do all of these things that you're committed to no longer do. And they feel a way about that, Taurus, because you're no longer participating in something that you used to participate in, good, bad, or indifferent. Be conscious of that. Choose friends wisely is what you're being guided to do, okay? Be honest about the influences surrounding you and step away from those who don't get you, who hold you back, or who hope or, or listen be listen step away from from those that don't get you who hold you back even if this means that you must temporarily stand alone you'll find the right people when you leave the wrong crowd 
You will find the right people when you leave the wrong crowd. And that is saying a mouthful. So in this Mercury retrograde and the sign of Scorpio, you know, go in. I encourage you to watch the video that I'm going to publish on what your focus is going to be. But in addition to that focus, if it includes choosing friends wisely, then you understand that one line, okay? You'll find the right people when you leave the wrong crowd. And that's just period, point blank. So like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope that message resonated with at least one tourist out there. Um, I think that we all can find a little truth in it regardless of what our zodiac sign is. But this is what you're being guided to focus on. And this is actually profound as we move into... Um, the last month of this particular year. So we're going to have new challenges and triumphs to, that is going to come our way in 2020. So let's get to uh, trimming the fat and focusing on that. So like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. If you are interested in tarot readings, I encourage you to check out channel one, which is also readings by Marvelous Madame. And I will see you guys here next month when I bring you the year in review introduce you to your December message and also introduce the new deck. I am excited. So next month's video is going to be a little bit longer. I do encourage you to stick around so I can give you your year in your year review of every single divine energy oracle message that was there for you. And I will see you then. Bye Taurus.